Hi, this is Nathan Peterson, licensed clinician and OCD specialist. Did you know that the fear of contamination or being germy doesn't always lead to the fear of getting sick? What about having a certain thought or maybe touching something and feeling mentally contaminated? My brain is unclean. In fact, many may feel overwhelmed by this feeling and just general disgust. In this video, we will be going over what mental contamination OCD looks like and explain this feeling of disgust. We are also going to go over how you're gonna handle these thoughts and feelings. Imagine this for yourself. You touch a door handle, shake somebody's hand, touch that shopping cart, and you make it home. Most of the time, we walk in, wash our hands, move on. With mental contamination, these individuals may do a physical action to try to fix something that happened mentally. Washing their hands means washing a feeling, washing a thought. I'm going to continue doing this physical action until I feel feel better until it's a feeling that's like, ooh, that was it. Now I feel better. It actually doesn't have to be washing either. It could be tapping something a certain amount of time, avoiding certain items, words, images. And when we think about contamination, we think, I'm going to get germy. I'm gonna get germs on my hands. I'm gonna get sick. But what these individuals are experiencing are, I'm going to get germs on my hand and I'm going to feel disgust, gross. I had an intrusive thought that doesn't match my value system and I feel disgust. This feeling will not go away until I do something to fix it. I may have to repeat a certain word in my head over and over and over again to cleanse this feeling. I may have to physically wash something. Maybe it's do some type of ritual over and over again until I feel better. So let me share with you what we're gonna do about all these pesky contamination feelings. After I tell you about the sponsor, NoCD. The NoCD app can help you on your journey. They offer affordable real therapy right on your device. See if they take your insurance and head over to www.treatmyocd.com. So here's what we're gonna do about this mental contamination. Mess it up. That's right, we are going to purposely touch the contaminants, purposely engage with the things that make us feel emotionally contaminated. You get to set the rules. Our goal isn't to figure out how you cannot feel this disgust feeling. That's just part of the process. Instead, it's to live life with this feeling. As long as you're doing exactly what you want to do in life, because this feeling can't last forever, you can even respond differently to the disgust feeling. Celebrate it. Have a party. When the disgust happens, you blow a kazoo. Woohoo! I love this feeling. I hope it lasts all day long. I feel so dirty inside, so contaminated, but man, great. I love it. As long as I'm not responding to it with any value, it's teaching my brain that I am not falling for this thing anymore. To me, it's a false signal trying to get you to react. So why not do this? Poke the bear, do the opposite. Touching that door handle made me feel internally contaminated. So guess what I'm gonna do? Go touch it again. Maybe I'm gonna watch that video clip all over again. I'm gonna mess this compulsion up so bad that my brain has no idea what to do with it. It's gonna say, you're no fun. You're supposed to react. What are you doing? Yes, the anxiety and distress will be there, but it can't last forever. You've got to learn how to stop these compulsions, which is why I created that video that shows you the simple tricks that work for most compulsions. Make sure you watch that here. I'm gonna put it on the screen. It will power you up. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.